Boma Cookie CEO Cookie Glam Hairs. So Cookie Glam Hairs has been in existence for two years ongoing, but due to debt, I had to stop and then I reverted the business a year ago, but in a much bigger way. So Cookie Glam Hairs is we offer quality hairs, we give you the value for your money. We don't just sell hairs, we wig hairs, we revamp hairs, old hairs to new hairs, and then we also wig hairs, we color hairs. So Cookie Glam Hair does a lot aside from just selling quality human hairs. I would say profit is relative. Some days are extremely, extremely good, and some days, uh, just uh, but I would say yeah I make profits because if I don't make profits I would not keep going on with the business even after a year so I would say yeah profits yeah I would say social media has helped my business in a way that I can relate to my customer on a different level now I had an issue shutting down my business two years ago because I had a lot of debts people would see me you know they had interactions with me and they would owe me it was ridiculous but now over in social media you see what you like you come into my DM or you make a request and I have it delivered to you but I would say it has helped me 70% and 30% is because you know Nigerians sometimes seeing is believing they actually want to see what they are buying before they buy so it takes a lot in convincing a customer over a period of time to purchase a hair from you. If you have the money have an e-shop have a present shop and also have an online shop because human beings are unique some actually like to see what they are buying and some are already convinced by pictures so and also like for profit margin too you can make money off your e-shop people walk in and then they buy you can also make money online so i would say have the two there's none that is better than the other i don't see competition it's funny because i offer not just like i said in the beginning i offer not just selling of hairs actually wig as low as 5,000 hair. I do treatments of hair from old hairs to new hair. So if you have a hair, you feel like, oh, you're about to throw it away, you can bring it to me and then we will revamp that hair. We also do coloring of hair. So if money isn't coming from selling, we, um, selling hairs, money is coming from other places. So I really don't see competition because they're just distractions. So Nigerian women are one of a kind. It's always very hard to convince them. Especially sometimes when I have to convince the customer that, you know, I tend to ask my customers when they ask for coily hair and I ask them, do you, would you be able to maintain? Because it's not just by buying hair. If you buy hair of a millionaire, two millionaire, and you don't maintain that hair, it's not gonna last you. So I ask them, would you be able to maintain a coily hair, you know? And then they say, oh, they can. And then they come back in two weeks and they say, oh, the hair is, is, is tangling, but you need to use your conditioner on a daily basis. So anyways, but it's been fantastic. It's been fantastic. That aside, like doing business in Nigeria, it's been fantastic because I feel like in Nigeria, the sky is big enough for everybody. Regardless of what I'm doing, I'm still making my profits and I'm still getting to convince people and they're still seeing me and they're still buying. So. My name is Boma Cookie, CEO of Cookie Glam Hairs, and you're watching Business Day Marketplace.